Stink bugs. I like stink bugs because my sister is terrified of them, and that's just funny. They just go like, wow, 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 and then they land on you, and then they scare you. It's like a plague. They're everywhere, and they stink. Brown marmorated stink bug. For those of you guys that are not familiar with the stink bug, it is a bug that came over apparently on a shipping container back in the 90s. They first came to Pennsylvania and then they have proliferated and have moved all the way down to the Carolinas and who knows where else they're going. But uh, recently over the last couple years, they have become nothing short of a plague. And up in this area, they are absolutely terrible. Uh, they're really active in the spring through the late fall, but we start to see a lot of activity in particular around uh, end of September and the beginning of October. They try to move into the house to try and get warm. Uh, they're, they're mating and laying eggs and everything this time of year and they are absolutely everywhere. Now stink bugs don't bite and they don't carry any known diseases but they did get the name stink bug for a reason. They secrete this absolutely terrible odor whenever they're threatened or squished. Uh, it, it smells something like a very very strong cilantro and not in a good way. They, it smells really bad and the oils that come off of the stink bug if it gets on your hand or anything it is extremely pungent and it's really really hard to get off it's it's gaggingly strong on top of that the stink bug is a threat to agriculture and crops and that it is very destructive to fruit trees uh, like tomato plants cucumbers they'd suck the juices out and they do kill the plant and around here uh, they are becoming a very very big problem now last year our chickens wouldn't eat stink bugs at all, but this year we have a handful of chickens that have been eating them non-stop, like hundreds of them a day. This is one of them, this is Temmy and Blueberry who's around here somewhere, and those are our two main egg layers right now. The other chickens are a little bit too small to be laying. But we haven't been eating their eggs over the last couple weeks because we have dewormed them and uh, so there's an egg withdrawal period and as of last night that egg withdrawal period is over so the big question is is are these chickens eggs going to taste like stink bug and we're going to do a blind taste test today and find out but first i'm going to show you some tips and tricks that we're using around the house to try and keep the stink bugs out of our house so stink bugs are a real problem to get rid of in and around the house. If you go and smash them, they're gonna release that pungent odor and they're gonna smell up your house forever. And trust me, you do not want that to happen. If you grab them with a paper towel or something and you scare them, sometimes they can still release that odor and it gets on your hands and like releases through the house. If you throw them in the toilet and try to drown them, they swim. They will actually crawl out of the toilet. I'm not even kidding you. Ask me how I know this. If you try to vacuum them up, uh, they will get scared in the vacuum cleaner. They will release that pungent odor. They will smell up your vacuum cleaner. Really, the, the best thing to do with a vacuum cleaner is uh, to if you have one of those vacuum bags and you throw it out right away, that's the only way to use a vacuum cleaner with stink bugs. So what we do around here is we create stink bug traps. Um, the way you do this is you get any kind of little plastic bottle, uh, ideally a two liter bottle. We don't drink soda around here, so all I have is a water bottle. You just cut the top off. You invert it, and then you tape it. So you tape it so that the hole is down on the inside, and then you can just use these to scoop up the stink bugs. They'll stay in the bottom. They won't be able to crawl out, and believe it or not, they do not smell in this container. See, he's trying to crawl out, but he, he won't get out of there. He'll just die. The other thing you can use is a recycled wine bottle. This is our favorite catcher of choice. You can see we have quite a few in there. Now, the only problem with this is that it does smell whenever you take off the lid, but the benefit is that you can put the lid on. I can tell you this thing smells rank.
All right, so the other thing that we do around here that helps with stink bugs, it does not completely get rid of them, is uh, peppermint oil, essential oil, peppermint oil. Now, I'm not one of those people that believes that essential oil is the cure-all for every disease and everything out there. However, they do have their place, and it does really, truly help with getting rid of stink bugs because they don't like the smell. And also, spiders and stuff don't really like the smell either. Now, what I do is I put it in my cleaners. I make my own cleaners. If you guys are interested in how I do that, I have a video on that. Uh, I will link to that up above and also down in the description. But I make my own cleaners and I add a, uh, the essential oil, peppermint oil to all of my cleaners. And then if you get a cotton ball, and I just have these cotton pads here, either one works. Take one of these and just soak it in the peppermint oil. Get it nice and saturated like that. And you can stick this in your windowsills because stink bugs tend to crawl in between any of the cracks of your screens or your windows, and this will help deter them. And then the other thing that we do is we put the essential oil in the diffusers for the house. Uh, you just gotta be really careful with using peppermint oil in and around the house. Some people are really sensitive to it and it can cause eye uh, irritation and breathing issues. So just don't use too much of it. And then the third thing that you can do if you have chickens is you can feed them to your chickens. But there might be a side effect to that where the eggs might taste bad if they eat enough of them. And our chickens have been eating hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And we are going to do an egg test right now. All right, so these are our eggs from Trader Joe's. This got us through the last couple of weeks when uh, our chickens were being dewormed. And these are the eggs we just collected last night and today from our chickens. So we're going to cook up one egg of each and then we're going to do a blind taste test to see if it tastes like stink bug. Do you think it'll taste like stink bug? No. Do you think it'll taste like stink bug? Probably not because you don't taste the caterpillars and stuff they eat. Do you know what caterpillar tastes like? I don't want to know. Tastes like chicken egg. <laughs> smell any different. All right, we're gonna cook these up. I'm gonna feed you two bites of egg and you're gonna tell me if it tastes like stink bug. I'm gonna be a nice big bite. Open? That's a little hot. Oh, blow on. Ew. Ready? <laughs> no. Nope. Tastes like normal one. Okay, I'll try this one. Tell me if it tastes like stink bug. No stink bug? Which one was better, one or two? Two. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> two tasted cheesier. Did you add cheese in it? More, probably more butter. Uh, well, two tasted cheesier than the first one. 
All right, next up. Ah, okay. Can you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, open up. Okay. Oh, it falls. Ready? Open. So <laughs> it not taste the same. No stink bug taste. I like one better though. You like one better too? That was the Trader Joe eggs. Had more butter. I like that one better. <laughs> Open. Okay. Open. That one's buttier, butterier. One or two. Two is buttery, but nothing tastes like stink bug. I'm guessing that that was the first one, that was the second one? No, that was the first one, that was the second one. Really? Yeah. Two tasted buttery here to me. I like number one better. So there you have it. There's no stink bug taste to eggs if your chickens are eating stink bugs nonstop, which is a good thing. Alright guys, that's our little fun experiment for the day. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's been helpful to you guys. If you guys have a problem with the brown stink bug, leave your comments down below if you guys have any tips or tricks yourself. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Timmy, just kill the bug. Put her beak against his head. Packed real hard and now it's dead. Did you just feed that chicken off the fork and then put it back in the bowl? Uh-uh. Yes, you did. <laughs> you are disgusting.